Alright, welcome back, this is Zendog, and we are... You know, I've played a lot of new games and some older games lately. Back in the swing of things, getting a lot of content on the channel, but... One of the games that's really stuck with me that we did a first impressions video was, was this... Dawn of Fantasy, Kingdom Wars game, and so... I've really been looking forward to getting back in here. So when I first logged in, uh, one thing I noticed is that, indeed, the resources had been going up while I've been gone. So, you know, for being so early in the game, it seems like we've gotten a lot of resources just because it's been a, I don't know, 24, 48 hours since I played the first part of this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, just refresher here, we've got a couple of buildings, tree dwelling, uh, what is it, Sylvian, Sylvan Shrine. Uh, it looks like we can up, we can uh, level those buildings up, but let's... Let's see what uh, Nothros has to say to us. Life is surprise. Here is one such example of life. From the conclave has arrived a messenger. Listen to his words, but look for both sides of his meaning. Hear with careful ears. This is the messenger speaking. Greetings and felicitations, settler. I need to Google that. The conclave of Archons has sent me to inform you of a most propitious development in the affairs of Nimblolia. The great cent cent centenary calendar has been consulted and the conclave has decreed that the age of trial has begun. I must convey apologies at the lateness of information, but it was hard to find your settlement. The contest is already four weeks old. That is all. Now I must go. Fare thee well. Okay. You have received his message. The age of trial is a time-honored tradition and has taken place each century since the dawn of memory. It is a time of ritual war. Just as Bolita is cleansed by the fire, so is our society purged of evils by this civilized bloodshed. You are not prepared. During this war, long-standing feuds are resolved, social worth is remeasured, and nobility is conferred to those warriors who prove themselves worthy. Great damage is done to many, but through these wounds we, nobilio, are reborn. When the fighting ends, we begin afresh. Such is the way of things. In this moment, let such thoughts blow past like summer wind, for your settlement is still a seed in the soft mud. The rules of the trial forbid elves to attack settlements so young, but prepare yourself, for the future holds great challenge. I wonder if that's referring to PvP. I'd say it may be. Yeah, so we are out of room for storing resources, so let's just spend some here. Let's see, we're 7 of 15 on total. So let's get a unicorn going. That'll cost two crowns, but we've got plenty. Let's upgrade this building. And let's upgrade this building. Is it upgrading? Or has it already upgraded? Huh, I don't know. We did use some resources though, so we're now collecting them again. Let's see what other quests we have before us. Terminal is wading into our world. Receive word that many humans journey here in force. Make haste, the Selma is under attack. Foulness once again. I see the <laughs> unicorns back there. Whoa. Defend your settlement from attackers. I don't see the attackers yet.
Here they come. Talk to no throws. See, it is saying to speak. To Trying to find my hero. Is that him? That is the hero. All right, here we go. We killed the guys, so we get the reward. We've got an enchanter now, Altos, a gaman, a gaman, a gama, a gamina. Here's a quest. A treant living to the southwest, worry for its safety. Now the Rodrino have infested all these lands. Humans treat these great beings as monsters and may have been and many have been slain. You must go and go with speed. The creatures of this region look to you for protection. Go to the treant, keep it safe from harm. Perhaps we keep it help it. The treant may decide to join us. Alright, cleanse the forest. Human scourge. Their camp lies to the southwest. Hide ability. Move with stealth into the Redrino camp. Uh, need few elves in your party. Kill the Redrino leader. The map of the realm. See on your face the look of isolation. You see what is around you and think that you see the world. This makes you like a beast in Rodrino's cage. Today you must understand that you and I and this Alash Hafio, we are but a drop in the great lake. I will help you see, accept my gift to you, a map of the world. We already looked at the map of the world, but okay. You look in all, but still you don't understand. It's just a picture, but your new sense. Open yourself to the sense, and you'll see further than your eyes can manage. Across the world, much will be revealed. With time, you'll learn to yield this new sense well. The mark, the markets of the realm. Trade is the wind. Connects all things and spreads all things between all nobilio. You must learn the ways of trade if the settlement is to survive. We are still small, and through great lake shines well upon us. We have not the ability to make all things that are needed. Many things are sold for bright holden, but, but talk is free. It is common practice to share words with traders who have knowledge of many markets and may speak of good deals. Talk follows gold, and profit follows talk. Another thing, if you want your army to carry more resources, you will need more wardens. So we need to trade. Path to trade. Much stone which we cannot quickly mine. Different towns offer different items. Use your sharpest thoughts to navigate these waters.
Travel to the nearest market and search for stone. If there is none, move to the next market. Talk to the traders you meet. They will have information you use. Return with this godur to this tough stone, and your citizens will give 300 golden thanks. <clears throat> Alright, so we have Shadow Strike. Raid the bandit camp and kill their leader. Use stealth. That's here. Trouble Treant, rescue the Treant, that's here. Market trading. All of the different places we can go. All right, let's go rescue that Treant first. Who shall we take? I think it just gave us some unicorns that we're supposed to use. All right, so we have female warden, sentry, Unicorns, more unicorns. How many unicorns did we train? These are the enchanters. These are the male wardens. We can give them a task, I think. Oh, we can't because I don't know why. But I don't think we need to take the male wardens with us. Doesn't look like we can move the male wardens. Rangers. And rangers. All right, so let's get the ranged units up here and the melee units down here. Huh, okay, it doesn't look like we can combine the unicorns with other units. All right, so we've got two groups, and if we want them all together, let's make that group three, and let's head over to where this fella is. Let's go attack these guys that are bothering our tree ant. And by the way, you know, there was the daily reward. Today's daily reward was 1,200 stone. We can't actually use that right now because our resources are full, so we'll keep it in the, in the bank for now. We have completed that quest. That one enchanter is not with the rest. All right. Let's see which units can hide. Possibly all of them. All right, let's get the let's get our army together here. We're going down there. Who is this over here? Oh. All right, so let's get our sentries. One set of rangers. 
And let's take our hero. Let's see how this group looks. I think we need to take the female wardens as well. Let's look at the size of this army again. Because though we're going to hide up until we get close to them, supposedly, there are a lot of warriors here. So even though we're going to go stealth, I'm not sure that we need to take that few. We'll take the enchanters as well. Where are the other rangers? Over here. Oh, let's just take everybody. My Krakio is sharp. And if we're taking that many, let's don't take the hero. Alright, we are now hidden. Here we go. <clears throat> See if we can take them out before they know what hit them. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Everybody is pretty much in position. Let's attack. Very nice. I'm glad your Krakio is so sharp. Let's get back over here, heal up a little bit. And let's complete these quests. We have visitors wounded and weary Nublio, refugees from settled besieged by their own race. This troubles me greatly. It would appear that the ancient rules of the Age of Trial have been bent and broken beyond recognition. These elves tell that recent times have witnessed acts of vile atrocity committed in the name of tradition. If this is true, we have much to fear. We should be safe for now at least. Uh, I know if Hoblio would dare attack a fledgling settlement, this would be too great a violation for even the foulest criminal, but we must prepare ourselves, for I, pred for I predict a dangerous future. For the meantime, we must give these refugees a place to sleep and food to eat. You would not deny them that, surely? Good. I'm sure they will only be too happy to join our settlement once they have received succor. succor. Thanks to the lake that you've successfully, that you've been successful, the Redrino have been repelled, and all, and their old Krakio, their foul weapons have been turned away. Trent will now walk with us, and we must be grateful for his presence. Good luck upon us, and many elves will look in envy for Trent's do not favor all elves. So, your skill is well used, and now their leader is dead. You saw the Redrino flee, Benita. You have driven the human scourge out of. Noburu, the land breeze easily wants more. <sighs> we got gold and resources. Would you learn more? Tree ants let you learn much aid and resource gathering, something you did not know. There's a look upon your face of thin sky and blank mind. You're in need of knowledge. Listen, elf workers gather resources much faster if there's a tree ant near them. Would you learn more? Gathering is a happening of magic. Tree beings speed this process in the same way that plants speed the movement of water. They are conduit through which Hoblio oh, magic is both channeled and enhanced. To gather resources, elves must first reshape them into spirit state. The tree beings achieve this faster. Am I confusing you? Enough for now. So 
So let's get the treant over here by the stone workers. And let's go ahead and see if we upgrade this, if it does use resources. So 300 wood. Yep, it did use it. 450 wood. It did use it. Let's do it with this one a couple times. 400 wood. 600 wood. We still have so many resources and we've all, we're almost full on population cap. So hardly anything to spend resources on is the main problem. All right, open world map and create an army with unicorns to sell and gold in it. Travel to nearby a large town and enter the town and locate gold goods merchant. All right, so let's see here. Create an army. So here's one place we can go. How do we create an army? Huh. All right, so we have unicorns. And we have unicorns. Now, Create new army. Okay. Okay, so they're traveling. We've got unicorns and rangers in this army. It appears to be taking them a little while to travel. <laughs> so let's go to our home city while that's happening. See if there's anything we can do. A letter. I know not its origin. Secrecy rushes all around and I do not like its scent. Mal Tinto. Take it. I have not read the words within, but beware. Secrets are poison in the minds of elves. Letter reads, you do not know me, you do not know us, however we know of you. If you are truly an elf of strong moral fiber and, a, your, and if your heart beats with courage then you must come to us for the good of elven kind, come alone, do not disappoint us. Travel to secret location, alone.
Okay. I want you all to hide. You hide as well. Alright, the spot is down this way. Let us travel there. Let us see what's going on in this secret spot. We will have hidden, hidden allies nearby. That is how we will go on this secret mission. If things turn south, hopefully they can help quickly enough. Then we will check the world map and see how our unicorn selling army is going. <laughs> our rangers are out in the world. Watch out. Well met, stranger. Do not be alarmed. These are dark times and I must be wary. I am Galino, special aide to Princess Aledia. I am glad you came. We have need of someone such as you. We must be quiet. The air has ears. The princess speaks of you with great respect. You played together whilst both children, I know. This I know. I have faith that you can be trusted. Listen, the princess is in danger. Will you assist? Benita, it is well that you accept. Remain alert and you shall be contacted. These words must not pass words must not pass to other ears. Your arch guide must not hear of it. When you have done the thing I ask, return with speed. Upon this spot I shall await. You cannot fight this war alone. You must persuade more Oblio to join you. Recruit at least two ranger or sentry groups. Then we shall meet again. The princess requires several tasks to be performed. Be in no doubt that the princess life may depend on your success. That is all. We place our faith in you. Come back to me when you have finished this task. Good luck. We already have two rangers, don't we? Three battalions of rangers or sentries. Okay. Well, we have two rangers, I believe. So we'll train another ranger. And let's go to the world map here. Where is our army? Oh, they're there. All right, let's enter the city. Jalmirim. So this is the trade mission. We're trying to see how this works. I think we are selling unicorn and then using the gold we make to purchase some sort of special stone. I don't know why the gold or stone we already have is not good enough, but... Lots of grandmasters. 
Oh, here we go. I guess that is someone representing me, a guard, if you will. I wonder if I would have sent my hero as part of this army if I would be the one I would be controlling in this city. Let's see if I am making my way. Yes. He is still working his way to the market. Here we go. Hmm. Where is the quest? Three hundred stones from merchant. Sell unicorns and buy stones. I'm going to assume this means we cannot, we just cannot sell it to this guy. Oh wait, there was another merchant. Shoot. I didn't see the other merchant. Are the unicorns still in my army? What is going on here? The load times are a little long. Yes, there are still two unicorns. Here we go again. So we just got to figure out how trade's going to work here. <sighs> here we go again. So there are two separate merchants that we need to talk to here, it looks like. Mercenary. Merchant. Why would we need to talk to the mercenary? Make sure there isn't anyone else that has an exclamation point above their head. And it looked like attacking this city is actually an option, which is sort of alarming. Here he goes. He's getting there pretty quickly.
Uh, can train them. We don't want to train. Alright, let's try this one more time before we exit and go through the loading screen again. But it just didn't look like our army was uh, was selectable for some reason. I wonder if we were supposed to include gold with this army. And gold in it. Locate the goods merchant. Sell unicorns for gold by 300 stone from the merchant. So does this merchant have 300 stone that we could purchase? 100 units. 85. So we need basically 300 gold to something we just don't have any gold so we may need to go get gold all right let's load back to the world map and I guess bring our army back home and load it up with gold I suppose that's what we got to do Okay. Is he traveling? Yeah. He's on to us. We need to wrap up this video. We're supposed to return to return to our princess messenger back down here. And uh, we'll see what he has to say and then we'll go ahead and wrap this video up. We'll have to deal with this market issue another day. I don't know that what we've done wrong other than not I, th I think it's possible we could have included gold in our army and if we had had gold maybe we could have purchased the stone. I don't know about selling the unicorn it just didn't seem to work but you have done well we can begin. The princess worries for her position perhaps her life. She has many to dear many enemies. One of these now travels with a band of rogue elves and will soon make his move, though we do not know how. He nears your territory, you must act quickly. We play a deadly game. Attack them, leave no one alive. Do you understand? Let me be clear. Some wish the princess dead. An assassin has been paid and now travels with rogue elves. 
Outlaw, carry gold, take it and use it. You will need it to train more Asmo, more soldiers. They will be needed. Now go. Go! Go! These are the rogue elves, I take it. Okay. Let's get our people back to base, first of all. The army has returned. Kill the Elven Bandits in their camp. That's the next quest we'll work on. Okay, so what is up with this Dawn of Fantasy game? It is a little clunky. Um, but it's still compelling. You know, it's one of those games where you play, time goes by faster than you realize, and, and you enjoy it. I mean, I think, I think I really do enjoy this game. Yeah, I wish it was a little more... All right. Yeah, the army's back because we've got our unicorns back. And you see, we are we are down some resources, so we'll have more room to gather more before we play next time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut this video off now. And you know, I don't know. Am I gonna play more? Probably. Um, we'll see if we make more videos or not. But um, I don't know. It's a compelling game. It's interesting. Uh, and and I want to kind of keep playing it to see when it does sort of open up a little bit when it starts allowing for PvP a little more growth development uh, development of your base a little more freedom in your choices I know you've got quests but I feel like I just haven't had any freedom to just say okay how do you want to set up your base or your city or whatever so that's what I'm curious about but seems like that might take a while I mean this is an online game it's trying to be some sort of a MMO hybrid uh, so you would expect a lot of time required to get there anyway thanks for watching as always